Oh my god. This is gonna be so cute, I'm already dying. This is so difficult. I am so excited to tell you guys that there is a new addition to the family. I finally got a hamster. I've decided not to tell you guys just yet what I decided to name my hamster. So you will find out in this video eventually. So stay very patient. I've always wanted a pet. I've always dreamed of making miniature food and then feeding it to my pet. You guys know that. And today my dream is finally coming true because I actually got a hamster and I made miniature cookies for my hamster and then I fed it to him. And this is probably the happiest. I have ever been guys. I've wanted a pet my whole life and my parents never allowed it So now that I live on my own I can have my own pet. Oh, and by the way the background is different because my parents are actually staying over So I'm sleeping in the office This video is actually made of two parts. So for the first one <gasps> Oh, I spilled everything. Great. Before you watch the vlog, please don't forget to give this video a like. Give it a like if you're excited that I actually have a pet. Can we please get this to 5,000 likes for my new hamster? I'd really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe and switch my notifications on so you guys don't miss out on future videos. And I'm probably going to be making a lot of videos with my new hamster, so... I'm at home right now. I'm actually editing a video that you probably just watched, like, maybe, like, a few days ago. My hair looks so big, it's because it's full of sequins. So, basically, <laughs> I think it all started when some of you guys recommended that I'd get a hamster. And I never even thought about getting a hamster before. But the more I've been thinking about it, the more it seems like a good idea. I do need some company and I think it'd just be so cute for me to have a hamster to look after. You guys know that I'm weird, but I'm also very responsible. Honestly, like, I actually take my responsibilities very seriously. I feel like I've waited for this moment my whole life because today, we are finally gonna go and buy my first hamster. My friend Kat is actually here with me. We've been hanging out all day. I mean, I've been editing videos and she's just been chilling in my sofa. How excited are you? I'm very excited! <laughs> I love how high your voice actually got. Uh, I can't wait. When I go on holiday, I just want to get this on camera. Are you going to step in and look after my hamster? Yes, I will. Yeah! I'll be there first thing in the morning. We're actually gonna go and get ready now. I mean, I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so can we let's... Go? Yeah, we can go. <laughs> We've been thinking about names for like the past week for the hamster, so... My favorite one is Frappuccino. I really love it. I think it's really cute. And which one's your favorite? Cinnamon. I don't like cinnamon. I like cinnamon. I think it's cute. Guys, before anything, we had to make a quick stop for pizza. <laughs> Oh my god, these look so good. I suppose because I'm wearing black on black on black. Yeah. Me every day. I look like I'm about to rob a bank. <laughs> these look so good. Mm. You've never been here before, right? No. It's your first time. This is so cute. There's like a fireplace on that side. It's cool. And also your classic rainy London view. <laughs> So we actually got one of these to share. Have you ever had one of those? Never had It's basically fried rice in like a bowl. Rice? Yeah. I'll give you the big one. Well, you might like it though. So? This is nice. Do you like it? Yeah. Mm. Alright guys, so right now the road is very shaky, but we're on our way to Pets at Home and how excited are we? So excited, I, I actually... just can't hide it. <laughs> gonna, gonna name, name it, it Frappuccino, gonna, gonna name it Frappuccino. <laughs> it's Frappuccino, drop the cinnamon. Cinnamon! Frappuccino. It's gonna be named Frappuccino Gomez. <gasps> so we just got to Pets at Home. Oh my god. Is that a hamster? That's a guinea pig. It's so cute. Is that a hamster? That's a rat. Oh my god. I love this one. I need I need this one. That's the one. Take it. It's a female. Oh. Oh my days. He's so adorable. It's definitely not pregnant, right? Hey, do you want to come with us? Hey. This is more like my kind of animal. Look, he's sleeping. <laughs> And this one is just crazy. We've actually decided that we're gonna go for that one right there in the end because it's so quiet and just like, I don't know, me. That would be too much trouble for me. Look at them, they're both crazy. Look, that's me though, in the back, alone. Scrolling Twitter endlessly. Yeah, he will grow a bit more. Oh, he looks so nervous. 
Yeah. So right now we got the hamster and it's in a cage. How do you feel, cat? I, I want to keep it. <laughs> Oh, this is his first dinner at home. Alright guys, so now we're going to move on to the second part of the video. And this is very exciting because we're going to be making miniature cookies for my hamster. I know, I promised I would tell you what I actually decided to name my hamster in the end. And the name for him, which you probably figured out by watching the vlog, is... Frappuccino! And I've also been calling him Frappy, which is like short for Frappuccino, but... I love the name and I know some of you guys are gonna be like this is the stupidest name ever I would have never named my pet Frappuccino, but I think it's cute I love Frappuccinos and he looks like caramel like Frappuccino These are basically the ingredients that we're gonna be using to make the miniature cookies for the hamster We're gonna go in with the flaxseed first Ooh, This is very difficult to fill up <laughs> Wait, I might need to move this to the side. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this this way around <gasps> Oh no, you know what, it's okay. I don't even know why I have flaxseed and chia seeds at home because I don't eat healthy. I think this is probably from one of my I'm going to be Instagram healthy phases. So I'm gonna be using the chia seeds now. Oh, these are much easier to fill up. <gasps> That's kind of satisfying actually. How is this gonna be a cookie? I don't understand. I actually forgot to tell you the most important ingredient, which is the foundation for the cookies, which is flour. So I'm just using plain flour. I think that's what you're supposed to be using. I'm gonna add the seed mixture to the flour and I'm not sure how much you're supposed to be using. I think that's good. Okay, so we're gonna add some water. And I don't want to add a whole lot to start with because you can always adjust for that. This is definitely looking weird and I think I might actually need to use my hands. Right there. I'm gonna attempt to roll this out. This is possibly the most exciting part of this video because we're actually going to be using this miniature heart-shaped cookie cutter and how cute is this? I really, really don't want to mess it up. Hopefully this is going to work out. No, it's already not working out! No! I've got no clue if these are actually going to hold shape while I bake them, but we're gonna give it a try anyways. I'm gonna bake them for about five minutes and hopefully this is going to work out. The cookies actually turned out pretty good. I mean, I'm not mad at it. They look all right. You guys know how extra I am. So now I'm actually gonna be making a frosting. So for the frosting, I'm actually gonna be using some yogurt and some strawberries because I don't think hamsters can have sugar. So hopefully this is going to work out. I'm gonna blend it all in here. And now we're gonna add the yogurt and the strawberries. One, two, wait, it's not working. <laughs> Story of my life. As usual, we're gonna be using one of these to try to have the most amount of precision making this cookie. I want this to look amazing. I want these to be the most beautiful cookies my hamster's ever had. Probably the only cookies he's ever had. Oh my God, this is gonna be so cute. I'm already dying. This is so difficult. <laughs> oh my god, guys. <laughs> I am dying because this is very difficult, but also because it looks so cute already. I don't even want to touch it because this is so cute, so I'm just going to move on to the next one. Oh 
These miniature frosted cookies look a million times better than any like regular sized cookies that I've ever made. So I am so proud of it. I'm so happy with it. And honestly, if Frappy doesn't love these, I'm gonna freak out. Isn't that just the most amazing thing you've ever seen? I think Frappy is hiding right now, but this is what his house looks like at the moment. You guys know how extra I am. So I basically bought him every single toy that I saw on eBay. How cute is his little slide? Come on Frappy. Say hi to the viewers, Frappuccino. Come on, Frappy. No, no. Love me, please. Please love me. Ugh. Story of my life. Give this video a like if you want to watch a whole video dedicated to toys that I bought from my hamster, because I think that'd be really funny. I forgot I bought this for him on eBay, so I put his miniature cookie in his little food container thing. Oh my god. I think he likes it, guys. He loves it. He's been hating every single new food that I tried to give to him. And he loves the cookie. Eating just the frosting. This is literally me licking the frosting after I eat anything. I've got the cookies that I made here and these are very like messed up now because I mean it's been a while since I made them and I'm actually gonna try them even though this is hamster food because they smell kind of delicious. It smells like strawberry so it definitely doesn't smell bad so interesting not as crunchy as I thought because when Frappuccino was biting into it it sounded very crunchy but I suppose he just got very sharp teeth. It's good though there's no sugar but apart from that it's pretty good. I'm not just saying this because I made them, but I do believe that Frappy loved it because I've been trying to feed him like different things all week, like snacks that I saw online, and he hates everything. He hates those hamster nuggets, he hates the mixture that they gave him. He doesn't like most of the hamster food, so I was very happy that he actually loved this. I think it was the first time that I saw him like genuinely happy, like loving something. He was like licking the frosting and I've never seen him do that before, so I'm very happy that he loved it. And I'm very excited that I've got a pet, guys. I'm gonna be making more miniature food for my hamster in the future videos, so let me know in the comment section what should we make for him next time. Maybe like breakfast food, like miniature, <gasps> miniature hamster pancakes. That would be really cool. Definitely let me know in the comment section. Also, also guys, don't forget to give it a like if you're excited for our new pet, a new addition to the family, Frappuccino Gomez. I also made an Instagram account for Frappuccino, so the Instagram account is going to be on screen right now, so please go follow Frappuccino. Can we try to get Frappuccino to 100 followers in like the next hours? I think that'd be amazing. So go follow my hamster on Instagram, this is so sad. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, switch my notifications on, and I'll see you guys on my next video, which is in two days. So, bye bye! Bye.